Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am the only Ayelsa and today I'm going to be sharing my Disney ear collection. I have been going to Disneyland since I was three years old, forever. But I actually didn't start accumulating my ear collection until I was, let's say, about 14 when I would start to go with um, my friends instead of my family. My mom always thought that it wasn't like worth the price and I totally understand that. As a teen, I would go and I would have my own money so I would just start to buy you know, a few things here and there. Um, there is one set of ears that was from my, my parents, but the rest I have all accumulated on my own. There's some from Disney, there's some that were handmade and all of them. I love and cherish so much because they're just, you know, they're so special to me. They represent my homeland. <laughs> Anyways, with all that being said, let's just get right on in. The first pair of ears that I'm wearing is just the classic Minnie Mouse ears. These I didn't purchase until literally like a year ago. Maybe two actually, yeah, because of the pandemic. I purchased them about two or three years ago. One of the last pairs in my collection and it took me so long to just get a classic pair of mini ears because all of the other pairs that I was getting I love pink, I love sparkly, so I was just all about that life and then I was finally like you know what I'm getting older, maturing, it's time to get a classic pair so and that's what these are. As you can see I display most of my ears here on my wall. My next pair of ears is these. These ones I got from the Lunar New Year Festival at California Adventure literally the year, so 20, 2020, last year when I went in January, I bought these. They're peonies for the Lunar New Year and I just thought that they were super cool and fun and they look like little pom-poms so I was really into that. So yeah, that's what these are. Next, I have these little clips that kind of go with the ears that I just had, um, my classic mini ears. And these, I like to wear these when I, you know, don't want to have a headband on because it bothers me sometimes when you're in the park all day and like they just get kind of annoying. So these are a good substitution for like later in the park day, you know, and they're super cute and they mostly stay, especially if I put braids in, then I just clip it into the braid and it stays all day long and um, I don't really even have to worry about them falling off on a ride or anything. I would take them off for like Space Mountain but like Indiana Jones was fine. Even like the Matterhorn was fine I think too. Took some risks <laughs> but uh, they stayed on so that's good. Next, these beauties. I am so obsessed with these. I actually haven't worn these yet like at the parks. I've put them on obviously, like I'll put them on right now. <gasps> they light up, you can't really tell. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't really tell, but they light up and they are so cute. I'm just, I am always obsessed with like the balloons at Disney. So I thought that when these came out, it was like, it was such a good idea to make balloons. They are really heavy though, I don't like that. So that's why I haven't worn them in the parks yet because the only time I was there at night when I could have worn them, I, was scheduling in a lot of rides like I was just trying to get on rides so I was like I'm not gonna take them they're just gonna get in the way um it was a ride heavy day if I were just like gonna go watch like a parade or like a nighttime show like Fantasmic or something then I would totally wear these next this cap I would say this cap actually probably the first of ears that I ever bought it's just like Mickey's pants and he has a little tail too it's so cute and classic and I honestly couldn't tell you why this was the first thing that I wanted but I think I just really wanted a cap. I really wanted something like that. Oh god. I wouldn't wear this anymore. The, this is one of the first ones that I got when I was a teenager so you know different style. I mean it's still really cute. I'm gonna keep it forever obviously because you can't get rid of them. You can't get rid of your ears. Like especially not your first pair. That's unacceptable. Next we have the one pair of ears that my family actually bought for me. It's a 50th anniversary cap. It's so so beautiful. I think it's actually super funny. So mine has my name on it on the back and it was the first pair of ears my parents actually bought me. So when I met my boyfriend now um, and I went into his room for the first time he had a pair of these ears sitting on his like a bear and I just thought it was so funny because his has his name and mine has my name and we have so we have matching ears from a time that we didn't even know each other which is so cute I think that's so cute but yeah anyways so these are our 50th anniversary cap super cute 
Next, this, I don't know how many people would actually consider this like a pair of ears, but it is a pair of ears because it's ears, but it's a hat. <laughs> It's the Sorcerer Mickey hat. This was actually my brother's. He was really into hats when we would go to Disney. I remember that. He would he had like the goofy hat with like his ears that would like hang. And then he had this. So I just kept this one. The Sorcerer Mickey hat and he's all dented and like the battery's dead. I, it's supposed to light up but the battery's dead. Doesn't work. Next, we're moving on to the ones that were on my wall. They're all gone now. <laughs> so we have this little princess ears. Oh no, I'm missing my hair. Okay, they don't like to sit on my head properly, but little princess ears. These are these are actually kind of small, but these are also one of the first pairs that I got. I think I got them like in high school. I used to go to Disneyland a lot for like choir and then with my cheer team and then just with my family. So I would go like three times a year in high school, which is crazy. But that's when I also started buying ears. So each trip I buy a pair of ears pretty much. And so the same year that I bought the cap, this cap, I bought these. A different trip, same year though. <laughs> So that was like my style, I guess. Just like really random, but classic, could be classic, I don't know, kind of ears. Mini as a princess. And I just thought it was so cute with the little veil thing. I don't know. I, my style was weird. I was all over the place. I loved color and I just, you know, was it. This is <laughs> another pair of ears. Next, I'm actually gonna get into kind of going in order of like when I got them. So these are all still from like high school-ish times or college times. So these were also from when I was in high school. These are like super chonky and the band, not that comfortable. So I haven't really worn these since I bought them. Um, but that trip I definitely like wore them the whole time. The bow and the sequins. Oh, I just love sequins. I'm such a glitter girl. So <laughs> yeah, I was really, really into this. So cute and I still love it, but I just, I can't wear them because it's super tight. So I still wouldn't get the classic mini ears, the whole, you know, my entire young adulthood. But I got these, which are like kind of classic. They're like classic mini, like if mini were a headband, you know? Like the other ones are minis, like like you dress up as mini, you know? If I dressed up as mini, it would be these. But if Minnie Mouse were, as her essence, a headband, it would be this. With the little feathers and the flower and the polka dots and her little face right here. And these are so cute. They kind of remind me of like Tower of Terror. There you go. <laughs> kind of remind me of Tower of Terror like kind of vibe, you know, like from the 50s. I actually have no idea what decade that was from, but you know, not recent years. <laughs> they remind me of that and I just thought that they were so cute. So I got these and these are really comfortable. I'd wear these again, but again, they're like my style has changed over the years, so I will show you my very favorite ears. I have, oh, maybe three, like the, the classic mini ones, you know, you wear them all the time. You can just bring them to the park literally any time and wear those, but I have two others that are like my favorite and they're pretty simple. So <laughs> my style has changed a lot. Next, so these were actually from like 4th of July, like they're the 4th of July ears. Uh -huh. um, but I thought that they looked, they reminded me a lot of Sorcerer Mickey and Sorcerer Mickey is my favorite Mickey because he reminds me of Fantasmic and I'm obsessed with Fantasmic. Like it's my favorite show of all time, the Disneyland version, not Disney World. I have seen both and Disneyland is the best. But these reminded me of Sorcerer Mickey more than like 4th of July. Like, yeah, sure, America, but Sorcerer Mickey, that's what I was trying to go for. They were really fun. I really like these actually. Still, sequins again. Now I have two pairs that weren't from Disney. My boyfriend is a saint and he wanted me to have his ears that I really wanted from like an Etsy shop. So he didn't, but he didn't order them from her because she did like very limited releases, but he wanted me to have them. So he has a friend who makes ears herself so these are very homemade they're good though they're really good and they've, they've held up but yeah i know that disney has a pair of these but she made these which is jack skellington and the oogie boogie and then zero on the back they're so cute they are kind of um <laughs> like no i'm doing right there but it's fine he loves me and he just wanted me to have the set of ears that i really wanted so these are from these are the same, you know, the girl made them, but the, the design is from like an Etsy shop. She's not selling them. She just made them for me specifically. But there's Sally ears, and I'm obsessed with the scene with the Frog's Breath and Deadly Nightshade when she's like mixing up the soup to like try to get uh, the doctor to sleep so that she could escape and like have a night out on the town, you know. 
So um, I'm obsessed with it and they're so pretty. I'm, I'm in love with these ears. So we went to the Oogie Boogie Bash in October of 2019 and we brought these and we wore them and they're so cute. Now are my last two favorite pair of ears. These two are my favorite, my favorite ears. I got the yellow one first because this is the newest one. I just bought these last time that I went to Downtown Disney. These came out like the end of last year, I think. Um, I've never worn them in the park, obviously, because the parks have been closed. I just went to Downtown Disney. Woo! Oh my God, they're so pretty. I'm obsessed with these. They're so, they're like velvet and then this is like a different fabric. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, this is like a velvety and then this is just like a plush, soft, nice fabric, but it's different fabrics, but it's the same yellow. I don't know. I just think it's so classy and cute and amazing and I love them so much. When I saw them online, I almost bought them, but then I was like, no, I have an AP discount. I should wait and just go. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And it was meant to be because I got them. They weren't sold out. I mean, I didn't think that they would sell out, but I did think that it might take a while to like find them because I didn't think that they would like, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I got them. I got the ears. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, because these are my favorite ears ever. Obviously, you'll see how my style has changed. I still like the sequins, but I keep it a little bit more one color, monotone kind of look. And that is sequined Mickey ears without a bow. These are my favorite. I literally just wear them with everything. Like I wear them everywhere, every time that I need ears. These are the, these are the go-to because they're fun and festive with the sequins but they're plain black ears so you can literally wear them with anything absolutely anything and i love them so so much anyways that is my entire collection i have a lot more things that are disney related though so if you want to see more comment down below what you would like to see me talk about next i have a lot of different types of souvenirs i have things that i actually use like in my kitchen and my room and like everywhere clothes i have so many disney clothes so yeah just let me know what you would like to see i will be making more disney related videos for sure and please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very soon